DC, the single, show number 19. It's going to be a great single we're going to review, man. If you're a fan of the 80s, 80s music, I don't think you're going to want to miss this one. Stick around. DC, the single, show number 19. It's gonna be a great single we're gonna talk about today. I don't think you guys are gonna wanna miss this one. You guys tuned in for a great show. But before we get started, man, I hope you guys had a great day, a great week, man. I hope what I share with you guys, man, raises your frequency, raises your vibration, and puts you on a whole nother level of thinking, man. First of all, I want to say shout out to all the new subscribers out there, man. Thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, step number one, like and subscribe to the channel, man. Share. And if you haven't already, get yourself a cup, man. I'll put the link down below and I'll put the PayPal link down below if you want to help and donate and help the, the show grow. It can't get no better than this, though, baby. I got to give myself a pat on the back pretty great show hopefully you guys are enjoying that you're chilling with the album reviews movie reviews interviews and the single reviews you know and i couldn't have done it without all you guys thank you so much man peace love and light to all you guys out there if there's a particular song you guys want me to review and share on the show you know, I'll put my, my email down there so you guys could write to me or write it in the comments down below. Hey, man, you guys, you should do this one. What about this album? Or you think uh, with any of the albums or singles, what about this song? What was the artist's best song that you think is a good one, better than the one that I'm, I'm reviewing? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, but this particular song, if you're a fan of 80s music, usually with the... The singles I try to do, hip hop, I try to do 80s music, man, Spanish music, all across the board, man, 60s, soul, a little bit of everything, man. Even with the album reviews, though, too. I don't just do hip hop, though. I've been doing a lot of hip hop lately, but I gotta start mixing it up with, with more albums. So if you guys know a particular album out there, maybe I'll rock, I got a particular rock one. Alternative rock from the 90s one, man. But I'm just waiting, waiting to see if I can get it on vinyl, man. Because it's one of my favorite groups out there, man. And I got to get the shirt too, man. So, so it has to fall in, in alignment with the stars. You know what I'm saying? It has to be the right time, man, where everything falls in sync. And be like, all right, this is the time to, you know what? I'm just thinking, man. I gotta, I gotta make a, gotta make a trip to the record store, to the shirt store, man. See, man, now you guys got me thinking on a whole nother level on how I could make the show a little bit better, man. But there's a put, you know what? I'm gonna put some links to albums and, and CDs of the particular artists that I'm sharing down below, and some shirts, man. Some hip hop shirts or, or music shirts. If you guys like, you know, check them out. I gotta put up the the DC Durant custom store again, man. And let me tell you, before we get into it, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet with the with the single review, man. Cause I wanna play some music, man. But you know, sometimes on fucking YouTube, there's a fucking music police. You know how they do, it, man. So I said, but then again, it kind of it, it is kind of good not to play the music because then. It makes the listeners go out there and just search for that particular artist and, and revisit that 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 song because it's a great motherfucking song. But the reason why I took down the oops, excuse me the Durant Customs um store, I lost my job and I was I didn't have a job for a while, so I had to 
you know, had to cut back on stuff. But now that things are a little bit better with the finances, I might just redo it, man. And it might be better than ever. It might be. It just might. I don't know, man. If I get tempted, man. If I get tempted, I might just do that. You know what I'm saying? I might just do that, man. But what it, the goal is to always grow and expand, man, in ways that we can't. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be in, in different and doing more, more. You could also find me on Patreon, on Twitch. You could also find me on uh, uh, um, on Bitchu. It's to always do, even whether it's growing into another channel or whether it's growing into other platforms. It's to always keep expanding and growing, you know, filming and doing things like that. Putting out DVDs or whatever it is that we do, you know, with the, the footage that we have. So that's the goal, and we're going to proceed forward with that. And, Thank God, you know, we made it this far, we lasted this long, and we continue easily putting out great content weekly, non-stop for the viewers. That's my goal, is to continuously weekly put out non-stop content for my subscribers, you know, and hopefully they enjoy what I put out, man, and don't get tired of looking at this mug. And I'm not talking about this cup right here, this mug here, but this mug, this ugly mug here. This particular song, though, man, I do have this song. This is the CD for sale, sealed. I put the link down below, man. This particular song, man, is a great. If you're a fan of the '80s, man, if you grew up in the '80s, before. Hip hop, got, well, not even hip hop, man. You, you, if you grew up in the '80s, you were a fan of all music, whether it was disco, whether it was soft rock, rock, Prince, Michael Jackson, man, the Commodores, or whatever, man, Marvin Gaye, soul. You were a fan of of everything. You appreciate, and I'm pretty sure most of the people that are around my age have a deeper appreciation for music now that's not knocking nobody man because if you're a fan of music you're a fan of music you go back and you tap it to other genres man but this particular song is a beautiful fucking song man and if you you know man the song is keep on loving you by ario speedwagon it's a soft rock power ballad dude beautiful fucking song the way it starts up, man. I wish I could play a little bit of it, man. But you know how YouTube does it, man. Written by Kevin Cronin and performed by American rock band Ario Speedwagon, man. Well, that fucking author was brilliant. But I, I like to think, just like with the other song from from Top Gun, that um, was that lead singer there that the fucking artists themselves is what brought out this great fucking song not just the writers do our real speedwagon i don't see nobody else doing this song the way that they did the song first appeared on our real speedwagon's 1980 album high infidelity well this is the way it looked high infidelity man that's the way that album man. that's a dope fucking cover right there man i wish i had a shirt like that it features the lead guitar rock of Gary Richrath. That's what I'm saying. That man, the way it starts out, the background music on that. The song first appeared on High Infidelity. It was the first Ario Speedwagon single to break the top 50 on the US. Is that their top selling one? If anybody knows, write it in the comments down below. Reaching the number one spot for one week in march of 1981 for one it was number one so that was a number one with the bullet right there dude and i ain't arguing with that because if you know you know this is a great fucking song check it out look it up listen to it let me know write it in the comments down below what you think 
Keep On Loving You by Ario Speedwagon. And if you're looking for the album itself, the album is High Infidelity. Okay, reaching a 100, break the top 100. The single was certified platinum and US sales over 1 million copies sold. And that was when real motherfucking hard copies were sold. CDs, no, not even CDs, I think it was just tapes at that time or vinyl records, man. It wasn't even downloads or anything. That. that was a real motherfucking sales out there for all you motherfuckers out there that thinking that it wasn't like one one week and one day they were here and the next week they were gone. Nah man, that's when real artists were putting out real fucking classic music. You know what I'm saying? Real classics. UK singles chart, it, it peaked at number seven. Keep on Loving You has been a mainstay on the 1980 soft rock compilations. Fuck, I gotta make me a soft rock compilation on that, man, on, on YouTube. And has appeared on dozens of various artist compilations as well as several Ariel Speed Wagon's greatest hits. What fucking movie, what movies does this come out on? Man, I know there was a movie, I forgot which movie it was, man. Background and recording, Kevin Cronin stated he wrote Keep On Loving You as a more traditional love ballad and the band as a whole developed into its final arrangements as a power ballad, he recounted. <coughs> I walked into rehearsal and sat down at the piano, the piano man at the beginning, man, great fire. We we the start, which I really do because I am a guitar player and started playing Keep On Loving You. And the guys in the band looked at me like I was from another planet. They were like, what are you? You know, because you're always bringing songs to record what we're going to make. And they looked at me like I was crazy. And I'm like, dude, this song really means a lot to me. So, dude, it's not an Ario Speedwagon song, and I kind of was like, you know what? I'm the main songwriter for Ario Speedwagon, so if I write a song, it's an Ario Speedwagon song. Dude, that's a great fucking song right there. The B-side was Follow My Heart, released on November 4th night. I can't believe it was 1980, dude. I was thinking 83, 84, maybe 85, man. But 1980, dude, that fucking sound still sounds fucking great to this day. Recorded September 3rd, 1980, released on November 4th, 1980, genre soft rock pop. Man, label was epic, songwriter Kevin Cronin. What do you guys think, man? Producers Kevin Beamish, Kevin Cronin, Alan Gratzer, Gary Rick Rat. The singles from that particular album were, or uh, singles chronologically, were "Take Me," "Take Time for Me to Fly," "Keep on Loving You," "Take It on the Run." That's another fucking dope one by Arius. "Take It on the Run," dude. But I don't know. "Keep on Loving You" is probably better than that, dude. Great fucking song. Great fucking group. That that take it on, man. Let's read a little bit about Take It On The Run, dude. Let's see where that one peaked out. Take It On The Run is a song by American rock band Ari of the band's ninth... Well, it was their ninth... High Fidelity was the ninth studio album of Ario Speedway. What the fuck? We were supposed to make this short and sweet, but man, the B-side to the... Uh, Take It On The Run was some Someone Tonight. Let, fine, well, that was a dope one too, right? Ninth studio album from what the f how many motherfucking albums did they have, dude? The song fuck. Taking on the run was a follow-up single behind the group's number one hit, Loving You. The single went gold. It went gold. All right. Taking on that's what I was thinking. What was the bigger hit? It was a uh, Keep On Loving You, but Taking on the Run was fucking pretty dope too. The single went gold on April 7, 1989. 
Take It On The Run has appeared on dozens of various artist compilations as well as several artists' biggest hits. The 2017 song Missing Around by Pebble featuring Enrique Iglesias and Interprolates Take It On The Run. According to Ario Speedwagon and Tim Kevin Cronin, the original title of the song was Don't Let Me Down. Don't let me. Oh, yeah, I'm glad they, they changed that because would have sounded too much like the fucking Beatles. But let me know what you guys think. The singles, man, do you see the singles show number? Was it number, ni- number 19, man? The singles show number. Number 19, let me know what you think. Write it in the comments down below. Ario Speedwagon, man. Uh, keep on loving you, man. Peace, love, and light. And now, I'm out this motherfucker. Peace.